Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on You are the light of the world. Someone said that the fundamental principle of Christianity is to be what God is. In 1 John 1 5, we read that God is light and there is no darkness at all. In John 8 12, Jesus said that He is the light of the world and he who follows him would have the light of life. In Matthew 5.14, we read Jesus directly calling his followers as the light of the world. By calling his followers as light, Jesus divided the people into two main groups, one that belongs to the light and the other that belongs to the dark. By identifying his followers as light, Jesus emphasized the importance of blameless and holy life that is to be displayed by his followers in this sinful, wicked world. Paul in Ephesians 5.8 says, For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. The clear contrast between darkness and light in this verse denotes the moral standard expected in his followers as they live in this world. When Jesus calls us as the light of the world, our call is to be a light to those around us. It is easy to compromise with the values of the society and to conform to the pattern of this world. We are not called to go with the flow living a life with less resistance and staying within our comfort zone. But as followers of Christ, we are supposed to be different. We are expected to be the light to others in deeds and actions. We are chosen to set an example to others in speech, in conduct and in purity. Light exposes darkness. Throughout history, anything that is good is referred as light and anything that is evil is referred as dark. The light of truth removes darkness from its way. The light is stronger than the darkness. The light influences the darkness. The light has an impact on darkness. We, as followers of Christ, need to make a difference and positive contribution in the lives that are in contact with us. The light that people see is the good works that we do, our obedience to the living God, our conduct and our testimonial life. In Matthew 5.16 we read as, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Like a city upon the hill, we are not hidden. People will look at us and observe our character and behavior. Paul says in Philippians 2.15 that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. Our faith is active when it is accompanied by good deeds. In Ephesians 2.10 we read as, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus, to do good works. Our ability to do good works is proportional to the intensity of our fellowship with God. The power of witnessing life comes from the Holy Spirit. What should be the purpose of our good life and good deeds? What should be our motive and driving force behind every action? Jesus said, it is to bring glory to God and it should be so. We are the only light the world will ever know. Imagine that if the very light of the world is hidden from shining, 
there is no light to the world the light is different from darkness the light never mingles with darkness the light will never compromise with darkness we are called to be different from the world set apart from the world for god let us pray our father in heaven thank you for calling us beacons in the dark world help us to recognize our call and understand the need to do good works that brings glory to your name in jesus name we pray amen thank you for listening god bless you